Women First Healthcare is proud to present Strong Women Stay Young, a lifestyle program that women can follow to lead healthier lives. Please stay tuned at the conclusion of this program for more information on Women First Healthcare, a company dedicated to helping women manage their midlife health. Hello, I'm Miriam Nelson. As a scientist at Tufts University School of Nutrition, I've been studying the effects of nutrition and exercise on bone health since 1983. And this video is the result of that research. I didn't come to this career by chance. I've been active in sports and fitness all my life and I know firsthand how energizing and empowering exercise can be. What our research showed was that with just two simple strength training sessions a week, women's bodies became 15 to 20 years younger. They recovered bone, they recovered muscle, but even more important, they recovered the energy and enjoyment of life they thought they had lost forever. It doesn't matter how old you are or how sedentary you've been. I've worked with 40-year-old women and I've worked with 90-year-old women. My own mother, who's never been a jock, was so convinced by my research that she took up exercise well into her 50s. Today she's 70 and she mountain bikes, cross-country skis and strength trains. She's got so much energy and vitality and so will you. If you follow this program, you will see significant improvements in just four weeks. So get ready to reap the benefits from this simple routine and learn how strong women stay young. Congratulations on taking the first steps towards getting stronger. I'm Bonnie Falbo and I'm a personal trainer and fitness instructor. I've used these simple strengthening exercises with many of my clients and have seen how fast it delivers real results. If this is your first time doing the workout, I recommend that you watch the video through one time to help learn the moves much more quickly. I know you're eager to begin, so let me tell you what you need to get started. A sturdy chair, a towel, adjustable ankle weights up to 20 pounds, and dumbbells. Threes, fives, eights, and tens, which you can get at any sporting goods store. Just check your yellow pages to find one near you. You also need a container for storing your weights and a notebook for recording your workouts and keeping track of the weights you're using for each exercise. You don't need any special clothes for this 35-minute workout, just as long as they're comfortable or loose. Thick socks or ankle warmers are best for your ankles because you'll be strapping your weights on them later. You don't even need to go out and buy special sneakers, but do wear a pair for sturdy support. We need a common vocabulary for evaluating your effort during the workout. The effort or intensity scale for this program is based on performing eight repetitions or reps per set of each exercise. Reps one through three should feel moderately hard. Reps four through five more difficult. Reps six through eight should be hard but doable with good form. And at the end of eight reps you should welcome a rest break. Now your first decision will be selecting the amount of weight to use for each exercise. If you have never done the program before, we recommend starting off with a weight that's easy to lift, usually three pounds. This will allow you to focus on learning the movement, good form, feeling the movement, and breathing and posture. If you find the weight you've selected is easy at the end of eight reps, increase to the next weight each session so that by the end of the second week, you are working at the appropriate intensity. And now it's time for our warm-up. It's really important to prepare your muscles well if you're going to do any strenuous activity or exercise like strength training. So for the next two to five minutes, I'd like you to either walk around your house, up and down your stairs, or a combination of the two, or use a piece of home exercise equipment if you have one, or you're welcome to join us as we simply march in place and do some chair stands to limber ourselves up and get ourselves going. Okay, get ready to begin by standing in front of your chair. Listen to the music with us in four and three and two. Begin on your right leg with a simple march. Here you go. Nice and light and comfortable to start. Easy arm swing. Take a deep breath for me here. Good, relax. And I want you to feel really great about having taken this time out of your busy day 
to get this workout in so that you'll feel better and be stronger. Great, looks good. As you stand here and march, I want you to think about good posture, being very light and lifted, as if you were suspended by a string from the ceiling. Good. Start to build that range of motion in your leg stride as we move along and limber up. Relax your neck and shoulders. Let your head turn. Can you feel yourselves warming up back there? Good. Now we're going to take this movement a little slower and bigger in four more counts. It's four and three and two. Let the right leg lift. Bring it up. Good. I want you to let your head turn nice and easy here. Let the energy flow out your arms. Just swing. That looks great. Four more. And three more. Just two more. And on this last one, bring it to a halt and step in front of your chair. Place your feet about shoulder width apart and we're simply going to sit down into the chair. Cross your arms in front of your chest, hold your head erect, and in four counts, slowly lower down. Let's begin. It's one and two and three and four and lift. Good. Take a deep breath here and try to use your abdominal muscles to support your, your spine. Good. Three and four and down again. Good. Now if you find that you need to use your hands to help you get back up, that's fine. Give yourself a little push with the arms and down, two, three and four again. You can push off a little bit. If not, hands are right here. Good. Just a few more of these. And lift. Two and three. We've got two to go. Take a nice deep breath. Good. Keep it going. Exhale. Lift back up. Great. One more repetition. Good. Keep it going. Here we go. It's one, two, three, and you're up. Okay, that's the end of our warm up, and now we're ready for our first lower body exercise. So go ahead and strap on your ankle weights, and we'll get it going. Now it's time for our first lower body exercise seated knee extensions. This works the quadricep muscles, the large muscles on the top of your thighs. You need a rolled up towel to place under your thighs as you sit on your chair, setting your feet about shoulder width apart with your feet just brushing the floor. Now engage those abdominal muscles, sit up tall, set your shoulders back and down, relax. Let me see you take a nice deep breath. Exhale, arms are by your sides and starting with the right leg, we're going to slowly begin in four counts right here. It's up, two, three, four and slowly lower. Good. Now switch to the left leg. It's up. Two, three. Pausing at the top, slowly lowering on the way down. Great. Now here's our second repetition, and this time I want you to think of pushing out through your heel, keeping your toes drawn toward your face on the way up, and relaxing them on the way down. Try that again. Foot towards the face on the lip, and relax on the way down. Great. Now continue as I watch you. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Bobby. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Good. I want you to remember to use your abdominal muscles while you're working to sit up nice and erect. Everybody. Good. Where are you feeling this? You're in the top of this thigh. And slowly lower. Good. Again. Extend. And right here, pause. Slowly down. Great job. Pushing out. And hold. Easy down. That looks great. Your posture is perfect. Good. We have a few more repetitions here. Can you feel that? Good. Sue, is it getting challenging for you? I think you're using the right amount of weight here? Oh, yeah. Good job. And slowly lower. Two, three. And this is our seventh repetition, so it should be very challenging, but you're going to sit up erect with those shoulders relaxed. Good. One more time. Think of how nice and strong your legs are going to be and how good they're going to look. Slowly down. Okay. Eighth repetition. Big challenge here. 
I know you want to speed up because your legs are getting tired, but hold that tempo so you really can give your muscles some good work here. And lift, two, three, squeeze the quadricep at the top, and slowly lower. Great set. Now take a rest for about 45 seconds, drink a little water, and then we'll come back and do our second set. The main reason most people slow down when they get older is not the natural aging process, but the loss of muscle mass due to inactivity. Here's what happens to your muscles when they're deprived of exercise. Starting at around age 40, most women lose about a third of a pound of muscle each year and gain back the same amount of fat, if not more. Exercise is the only way to reverse muscle loss, and strength training is the most efficient muscle building exercise. Contrary to what you might think, you're not going to get bulky like contestants in a bodybuilding pageant. Strength training will help your muscles get stronger, your body leaner, not larger. After doing this routine for a few months, you may even find that you're shedding pounds with that additional effort, because strength training helps boost your metabolism. It's another great reason to exercise. Now it's time for our second set of seated knee extensions. We'll begin with the right leg slowly lifting in four counts. Get ready, four and three. And lift. It's up, two, three. Pause on four and slowly lower. Good. Now ready for the left leg. And it's up. Pushing out through the heel and lifting and hold. And slowly down. Good. Get a sense of that tempo. It's up, two, three, and pause on four, and slowly lower, relaxing the foot on the way down. Good. A wide angle at the knee here, and the foot flexed, and slowly down. Point the toe in, relax the foot on the way down. There you go. And lift. Good. How's that feel, Carnese? Mm -hmm. And down. Relax your foot. Mm-hmm. Let's try it again. Sit up tall in your chair. Breathe deeply. Use those abdominals to keep your torso nice and strong as you lift. Good. Again. Now show me where you're feeling this. In the top of your thigh? Good. That's exactly where you should be feeling it. Above the knee joint, in the quadricep muscles, right here along the top of the thigh. Excellent job. Let the foot relax on the way down. Now this is your fifth repetition, so this should start in, be starting to get more difficult. And lower. Good. How are you feeling, Angela? Good. Breathing deep, sitting up tall, energy up, nice and vibrant, feeling nice and strong. Excellent. Right leg, extend. Send that power and energy out through the leg. Good. And slowly lower. Think about how great you're going to feel as your legs not only look better, but they feel stronger. Nice. And slowly lower. Good. Hi, Stephanie. Nice form. Relaxing that foot on the way down. Perfect. Good. Stay lifted in your abdominals. Bring it down at a nice slow pace. Don't let momentum take over here. Now tell me, lift the right. Can you feel a difference in strength between the left and right leg? You do? You're probably going to feel the same thing. We have one more repetition. Lift and two and three and hold it on four, slowly down, great, hold it, nice slow negative, excellent, great set. Now it's time for our second exercise, the side leg raise. This focuses on the hip abductor muscles, the large muscles that run along the outside of the hip and thigh. So go ahead and stand behind your chair, holding on softly, nice and tall, abdominals and ribcage drawn in and up, shoulders down. Great. Starting on your right leg in four counts, get ready to begin. It's four and three and two, nice and smooth, extend out, two, three, pausing on four and back down. Excellent. Now here's where you shift your weight and try to stay centered in your upper body, pausing again on the fourth count and slowly take it down. This is a very fluid movement. It's also very small and controlled. Right here, you're trying to move the thigh in the hip socket. 
Watch this for me. You're trying not to hike the hip up here. Just want to stay erect and slowly bring it down. Let's try that together again. Now think of leading out through your heel with your toe pointing forward. That looks great. And slowly down. Good job. Left leg sweep. Out, two, three. Pausing right here and back down. Now take a deep breath as you switch legs and continue. Great. Continue. You're on your fourth rep now. You should be really feeling this. It should be challenging for you, but this is a great exercise for your balance. So I want you to put some energy into it and really focus on breathing and standing tall as you extend your legs to the side. How you doing, Jerry? Well, it looks fine. Doesn't that look great? I know that's just how you're doing it at home. You're watching that the leg goes directly to the side and isn't traveling forward or back on a diagonal, leading away through the heel with the toe coming forward and slowly down, two, three, and up, good. Remember to keep using those abdominals. Excellent, Stephanie, that looks great. Left leg, up, two, three, pausing on four and slowly down. Good, this is your last repetition. Can you feel this? Good, keep that tempo, hold it. Slowly down, don't let momentum take over here. I know that's hard, but you can meet this challenge. Stick with it. Excellent, slowly down, we're coming to the end here. That was a great set. Good job. Bone density decreases at an alarming rate as you get older, making you a prime target for the potentially debilitating disease, osteoporosis. In your late 30s, you start losing bone, about one half of a percent a year. During the first five years after menopause, you can lose one to two percent or more of bone density every year. Calcium and vitamin D are very important for your bones, and for some women, hormone replacement therapy can help reduce the risk of bone loss with age. What new research has shown is that strength training alone or in conjunction with hormone replacement therapy helps you to build bone. Denser bones and stronger muscles greatly reduce a woman's risk of developing osteoporosis. Are you ready for the second set of your side leg raise? Get ready with your right leg. We'll begin in four and three and two and one, begin to extend, good, and slowly down, two, three, nice and smooth, hi Sue, let me check you here, see how you're doing, notice how her heel and toe are pointing forward, nice side leg extension, good use of the abdominal muscles here, nice and lifted, that looks great, and slowly down, two, three, gently shifting weight, that looks good. Nice. Angela, how you doing? I'm fine. Good. Good. Lift that rib cage. Nice abdominals. Good use of the hands here. The hands are relaxed on the chair, but her energy and her posture are lifted. The side leg placement is very nice here. The foot is flexed forward. Good. Carnese, the supporting knee is relaxed. The working leg is straight, and we're not going to let that leg turn out. That heel and toe turn forward. Good. Left leg, three and four, and slowly down. Very smooth and fluid. Staying lifted here, nice and tall. That looks great. Let me see that heel. Good. Heel, toe level with each other. Shift legs, slowly up. I know this is getting challenging now. This is your fifth repetition. And I'm sure you're feeling it out here in your hips. Yes, Angela? <laughs> I'm sure. Good. Now, this is where you really have to concentrate on using good form. This is what you're going to need for balance when you're not holding on to a chair in everyday life. So stick with it. And down. Two. Three. Good. Don't let momentum take over here. It's so easy to want to speed up when you fatigue. But you want to use your muscular strength. Good. Here we go. 
staying nice and lifted. Energy up, breathe deep and full, feel strong. That's it. Extend, push out through your heel here. Good, don't let that leg turn. Watch that form. Excellent. This is your last rep. Good job, hold it, hold it, and slowly down. Finish strong right here. Take a deep breath and relax. Great set. This is our last exercise for the large muscles of the lower body. The buttocks, the hamstrings, and the lower back. So stand about 18 inches behind your chair, and we're going to do some hip extensions. Bend forward at the hip about 45 degrees and relax your hands lightly on the top of the chair. The left leg is supporting so the knee is relaxed. We're getting ready to lift with the right leg in four, three, two, and one. Slowly extend, two, three, pause on four, and slowly lower. Good job. Again, left leg back, squeezing at the top of the movement, slowly lower. Great, let's talk about your form here. The heel and toe should be level. Mm -hmm. And pushing straight back, feeling that you're not traveling out on the diagonal or turning your leg out at the top, but trying to go, since you can't see your leg behind you, by feel, sending that energy nice and long, keeping the foot straight, and focusing on squeezing the buttocks at the top. Now I want you to look down toward the floor and keep your head and neck in alignment with the rest of your spine as you work through the movement. And take a nice deep breath for me here. Exhale and push back through that right leg. Squeeze and hold and slowly release. Perfect. That looks good. Keep the shoulders soft. You shouldn't feel any discomfort in them. And down. Keep thinking of lifting from the buttock muscles and use your abdominal muscles to steady you. Don't allow your back to arch and return. Good. Relax those hands again and think strong. Press back, pause, and slowly down. Great. Now I really want you to concentrate on lifting from those buttocks. Squeeze them right here. Give it a good squeeze and slowly release. That's great. Take a deep breath. Switch legs and push back. Good. Imagine yourself out skating or rollerblading or climbing up a hill. You're going to feel so much stronger. Hold your form here. I know this is getting challenging. And slowly down. That's looking really good. Let me see you breathe. Keep remembering to use your abdominals here. It's important not to arch. And you're probably feeling this in your lower back as well. As long as you're not feeling a sharp pain, keep going. Remember to stay relaxed forward over the chair and come down slow. Now as you fatigue, you know you want to speed up, so hold that nice slow speed. Pause right here and take it down. Excellent. Good job. My research in this workout focuses on using strength training for better health. Perhaps it's a novel idea to many of you who have heard for years that aerobic activity, such as walking or swimming, keeps you vital. Aerobic exercise is any activity that boosts the heart rate and that strengthens the heart muscle. Research shows that aerobic exercise will keep your heart healthy, but it won't make you strong. If you are currently doing aerobic exercises regularly, don't stop. They're very important. But if you aren't because you felt too weak and winded in the past, after you've strength trained for a few weeks, try a brisk walk. You'll discover that your newfound strength will help make aerobic exercise much easier and much more fun. You've had your rest break, ready for the second set of hip extensions. Get ready with that right leg and begin in four and three and two and one and slowly lower. Now you know what to do here. Keep those shoulders relaxed, breathing deep and extend back through that heel. I want to see lots of energy. Good and slowly lower. This is such an important exercise for you. Right Stephanie? Yes. Great. Hold those hips steady and down, and two, and three, and four, and slowly lift. Nice straight extension. Very strong squeeze here at the top of the glutes. That looks good. Good, breathe deep, relax the shoulders. 
soft shift of weight right there. Nice line, Cherry. Very nice line. Gaze downward a little bit. Let's get that head and neck in line with the rest of the spine. Good. This is your fourth repetition, so this is starting to get more difficult. Hold your focus. Breathing deep. Lots of energy. I want to hear you breathe. I want to be able to feel that extension coming right out of the back of your hip muscle. Good. Push back. Keeping the leg nice and straight here. And hold. Good. It's really a challenge for you to learn how to be energetic in one part of the body and very relaxed and open in the rest. So I know you can do this. Good. Elongate your neck here. Drop the shoulders. Good. Angela. Nice. Keep those hips from shifting and slowly lower. Great. Push back. Nice and straight and steady. Hold. Soft hands, soft shoulders, deep breathing. Good, Sue. Here we go. Lean over for me just a little bit more. Good. Relax those elbows and then the shoulders drop. Slowly lower. That's nice. Here we go. Supporting me. Relax. Working leg nice and strong. Sending that energy out. And we have our last rep. I know you can hold on to this. Maintain good form and breathe. Breathe. Good. Finish strong. This is our last exercise for the lower body. Great job. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells and we'll move on to our upper body workout. Now let's do our first upper body exercise. We'll be doing eight repetitions of the upward row. This is an exercise that works the shoulder or deltoid muscle, the trapezius and upper back muscle, and the bicep, the muscle in the front of the upper arm. Just hold a dumbbell in each hand, turn your palms so they're facing your thighs, stand nice and tall and get ready to begin in four and three and two. All together, let's begin. Slowly bring the weights up the front of the body, pausing at the top and down. Good. Take a deep breath right here. Keep the dumbbells straight and allow the wrists to bend as the elbows open and down. Good. The trick to this exercise is to think of lifting from the shoulders and just letting the weights hang in your hands and focus in that upper body. Great energy. Give me a deep breath here and lift. This is getting challenging, isn't it? I know. Stay with me. And down. That looks great. Let me hear you breathe here. Squeezing those shoulders without actually scrunching them up and down. Stand as tall as you can. Think about using your abdominal muscles because we're up to our sixth rep now. And down. Good. Two to go. Stay with me. Feel strong. No round shoulders here. Nice erect posture. Breathing deep and full. And lift. Good form. Squeeze the shoulders, slowly lower, and relax right here. Take a 45 second rest, and then we'll do our second set. Great job. What most people don't realize is that starting in our late 40s, we begin to lose the ability to balance so that by the time many women reach their 60s or 70s, their balance can become quite diminished, which puts them at risk for falling. One of the great benefits of strength training that we've seen in our research is improvements in balance. I hope you're ready for the second set of the upward row. Ready, Sue? In four, and three, and two. Slowly begin to lift. It's up, smooth. Good, not too quick there. Take your time. That's it. Breathe nice and deep and drag the weights up the front of the body, keeping them close, perfect. Slowly down. That looks good. Now check your knee position here. The knees should be bent so you can't arch the lower back, and the abdominals are assisting you stabilizing. Right, Angela? Let me see the elbows bending just to shoulder height. Good. Slowly coming down. Think about timing the left and right arm here. That's one of the beauties of working with dumbbells, is that you have to synchronize the strength of both limbs. That looks good. Carnies, how are we doing? 
Good. I want you to think about keeping the shoulders down a little bit more here, and that's what I need you to think about, especially as you're on your seventh rep, and it's getting very challenging. You want to start to shift the alignment here. But everybody, stand up tall and lift. Good. Energy up. Hold right here. Slowly lower. And down. Terrific. Get ready for your next upper body exercise. This next upper body exercise is a standing bicep curl and it isolates the bicep muscle. Simply set your feet shoulder width apart with your knees relaxed. Abdominals are contracted to support your spine. Arms are hanging at your sides with your palms facing inward. And slowly in four counts, let's lift right here. It's up and two and three, pausing on four, slowly lower. Good. Now I want to see you breathe right here. Everybody take a deep breath in. Good. Hold right here and slowly lower. Good. Now you can see that as I lift my weights, I'm rotating my forearms and pausing below shoulder height and slowly lowering. I'm holding the weights firmly but not choking them and my wrists are straight. I'm trying to feel for maximum tension in the muscle and slowly lower. Now this is your fifth rep, and I know it's getting more difficult, and you want to start to use the rest of your body, but try to isolate the movement and strengthen your biceps right here. Breathe. Good. Concentrate on lifting from the bicep, not from the hands. That's a big key to success with a bicep curl. You're keeping your elbows close to your sides so you don't add any help from your shoulders. Pause and down. Get ready for your last rep. Let's make it a great one. Breathe deep and squeeze the bicep. Hold it right here and slowly lower down. Slow, stay with me. Great job. Take a breather and then we'll come back for the second set. Okay, so you're watching this tape and you've bought the weights or maybe you're already doing the routine and you're ready to commit to the program twice a week for life. Terrific. Suddenly, you've missed a week, maybe two. You're wondering how and if you're going to stick with it. Just for a moment, think about the benefits of the workout. You'll have fun. This program is easy. You'll progress quickly and see results quickly, too. You'll get healthier, improving bone density, balance, and strength. You'll look better. More muscle means a faster metabolism. Chances are you'll get leaner. Your mood will improve, and you'll be energized. <music> Back from your rest break, I hope you're refreshed and ready to begin with your second set of standing bicep curls. So let's begin right here. Ready? It's up. And two, three, four, and slowly lower. Nice tempo. Do that again. Take a deep breath and lift. Concentrate on those biceps. Good. Let me see how you're doing here, Stephanie. And down. Good. How are you feeling? I think I might be losing a little bit. Yeah, well, I'd like to give you a correction here. I want you to observe this. Stephanie was turning her weight out to the side. As you lift the dumbbell, keep the wrist in line with the shoulder and slowly lower. That's better. Keep the elbows close to the sides and just pull upward. Good. And how are you doing, Jerry? I'm doing okay. Good. Now, this is our fifth repetition, and I'm wondering, how are you feeling at this point? I, I don't feel too tired. You feel like it's kind of easy for you? Yeah. If you feel the same way at home, then that's a signal that on your next session, you should raise the weight so you're working at the proper intensity by the end of your eighth repetition. You should really feel like you need a rest at the end of eight reps. So here we go, that last rep. Hold the curl and squeeze the bicep and slowly lower. Take it down. Good job. Get ready for your last upper body exercise. Keep your energy up for this last upper body exercise, the overhead press. Again, we'll be working our deltoids and upper trapezius muscles. This time, we'll be adding work for the triceps. Simply set your feet shoulder width apart with your knees relaxed. Your abdominals are nice and tight. Raise the dumbbells up so they form an imaginary straight line across the front of your shoulders. 
slowly in four counts, we'll begin to lift right here. It's up, two, three, pausing on four, and slowly lowering, resisting gravity and the weights. Press upward, that's it, straight up overhead, and slowly lower. Take a deep breath here. Good, wrists are straight, hands are soft, focus on the shoulder muscles and the triceps at the top of the movement. Imagine that you're on an airplane and you're putting some luggage in an overhead compartment and you're all by yourself and you have to do this. Good. Keep the knees soft and the abdominals tight. This is getting very challenging. It's our fifth rep and I know I'm working here. Good. Remember as you raise those weights that you're actually lifting your arms, not the shoulders. So don't hunch them up around your neck. Leave it nice and long. Again, this is our seventh rep. You're coming toward the end of the set, so really concentrate on your form here and your alignment and time those arms left and right. Slowly, three, pause on four and bring it down slowly. Try not to rush it. And that's great. Take a break and we'll come back and finish up our upper body workout with our second set. Cardiovascular conditioning, strength training, and flexibility are the three main components of physical fitness. One great side effect of strength training is improved flexibility. The calf raises and heel stands that you will be doing in this workout help improve flexibility in the ankle, which helps stabilize the body if you should trip. In our search, I've met many women who've said that their overall flexibility improved as well. I hope you're ready for the second set of your last upper body exercise, the overhead press. So let's raise those dumbbells up to the front of the shoulders and begin. It's up, two, three, four, and slowly lower. Good, now let me see you take a nice deep breath here and press overhead. This is a very challenging exercise. So don't be surprised if you find that you need to use less weight for this than the other two. Press up again, feeling the shoulders at the start and the triceps at the finish. Yes, knees soft, abs tight, and lift. Big energy here. Send those arms right up overhead and slowly lower, breathing slow. Deep breath, push upward, good. You should feel fatigue in those shoulders, but no sharp shoulder pain. That would be a sign to stop. Now we're on our sixth rep, so this is very challenging. Hang in there, give me your best form so we have a strong finish here. Let these women inspire you with their energy and their commitment to getting stronger and just feel so good about the fact that you're here with us today working out, press. This is our last rep. Stay with me and control that down phase. That's terrific. That's the end of the upper body part of the workout. Put your dumbbells down and then we'll continue with our last two lower body exercises. Now we'll be doing one set of eight calf raises. So step back from your chair about 12 inches and set your feet shoulder width apart. Your hands are relaxed lightly on the back of the chair and prepare to rise up on the balls of your feet slowly in four counts. Let's begin right here. It's up, two, three, pausing on four and slowly lower. Great, take your time here. Push off and lift so the crown of your head is going straight up toward the ceiling and slowly lower. That looks so good. Breathe with me here. Now center the weight through the balls of your feet as you lift so you don't rock forward on the chair and take your time coming down because there's a lot of work there. Check that your ankles don't roll outward. We need them centered and down. That looks great. Now gradually as you do this exercise, your ability to increase your range of motion will come naturally because this exercise increases ankle flexibility along with calf shape and strength and balance and down. Now we're coming up on our last two reps, so really use those abdominal muscles to help you lift right up. That's perfect. Slowly down. Take a deep breath in here and finish strong and lift. Good. One day you'll be able to let go and slowly take it down. Perfect. 
Now we'll do the companion exercise for your shins and we'll be finished with our workout. We're ready for the last strengthening exercise of today's workout. It's called the heel stand and it strengthens the shin muscles in the front of the lower leg. Set yourself about six inches in front of your chair and open your feet comfortable distance apart. Just place your hands softly behind you on the chair and prepare to stand on your heels, slowly lifting in four counts up, two, three, and four. Now take your time as you lower the toes and the balls of your feet and lift again, slowly squeezing those shin muscles, pausing at the top and come down slowly. Good, let me see you do that again. Take a deep breath and lift. Great job here. Stand nice and tall. Use your abdominal muscles to keep your torso erect. Now some people prefer to do this exercise at a wall and that's a great alternative. Whatever works better for you is fine. Just lift up slowly. Resist the urge to speed up here because the balance issue is difficult. This is challenging. But coordinate your whole effort here between your shins, your abdominal muscles, and breathe slowly. That looks so good. Two reps to go. Good. Squeeze the front of the lower leg. Relax the shoulders. Keep those abs tight. Gently coming down. And lift for the last time. And really squeeze those shin muscles. Hold it. Take it down slowly. Good. Soft landing. What a terrific job. Take a break and then we'll come back to finish with some simple stretches. Congratulations on completing the strength portion of this workout. Now you've earned some stretch time. It's so important to stretch what you strengthen and we'll be doing four simple stretches holding each one for about 20 seconds. So begin with us as we start stretching the upper body by clasping your hands behind you Interlace your fingers and gently lift your arms up behind you as far as it feels comfortable. Now look up toward the ceiling, breathing deeply, feel your abdominals stretch, nice and light on your feet, relaxed in your thighs, good, soft in the knees, feel that stretch across the front of the chest and shoulders, now gaze downward, keep lifting the arms, good. Now lift up again and move to the right of your chair. Now we'll be stretching the quadricep muscle and hip flexor in the front of the thigh. Hold on with your left hand, your left knee relaxed for support. Take the right lower leg in hand and bring the right foot back behind you. Your thighs are in parallel. Just gently tuck the hips under and bring the thigh back. That looks great. Take a deep breath in here. Send your energy up toward the ceiling. Doesn't that feel good? Oh, that's excellent. Just breathe into the stretch. And now we're going to work in the opposite direction. Just elongate the right leg out in front of you, drawing the foot toward you. And sit back, lengthen from the tailbone right up through the crown of your head, and extend your arm out in front. Relax your shoulders here and feel the stretch through the back of the hips and the back of the leg. Good. You worked so hard today. These stretches are part of your reward and part of what your body needs to do another great workout the next time we get together. Just roll up, walk around your chair, and repeat the stretches on this side. I really want to encourage you to keep track of your workouts in your logbook because one of the most important points towards making your strength training program successful is working at the proper intensity. I can't encourage you enough not to be afraid of your weights. If at the end of eight repetitions, you really didn't feel like you were challenging yourself in your next workout, go ahead and simply step up to the next weight. Logical progression is the key to success here. Extend your arm, breathe through the movement, good. So many women are afraid of working with heavy weights because they're afraid their muscles will get bulky. I've never seen that happen. Most women simply get stronger and leaner. Come around to the front of your chair now and sit toward the front edge for your lower leg stretches. Good, slide forward, 
and start off by drawing your feet toward you. Really pull them in and up so you can feel the lengthening action in the back of the lower leg. Breathe deeply. Relax your shoulders. Let your head and neck relax while you're here. Good. Continue holding the stretch and then take each foot and simply point it downward and stretch the opposing muscle, the shins. Again, let the whole body harmonize and relax. Breathe deeply. Let that energy just flow. Great. Now bring your feet back in and make an appointment to come back and work out with us again. Make the time, keep the commitment, and get strong. The Strong Women Stay Young workout is about more than just being able to lift heavier weights. It's about helping the body become healthier and more vibrant. Posture straighten, stamina improves, and along with it, so does self-esteem and quality of life. I've seen this program help so many women. Once a woman becomes stronger, she naturally has the confidence to take on new challenges in all aspects of her life. I'd love to hear your success stories, whether it's taking up ice skating, playing soccer with your children, or just having more energy after work to take a brisk walk with your family. When you stick with this program, you'll find that you can do it all and more. Remember, when you get strong, you stay young. Over the past three years, I've seen such changes in my body, I love it, and I feel so good about myself. Strength trainings help me particularly in everyday activities, for example, snow shoveling, which I find that I can do so easily that I'm sort of the marvel of my neighborhood. I went hiking recently with my 40-year-old daughter, and she said she had trouble keeping up with me. If you can just push yourself and have the motivation to make it through those first four weeks, you actually see a difference in your body. And then you're home. Then you're home free. Then you can manage to keep it up. And it really becomes part of your life. I think my older daughter really looks up to me for trying so hard to be so strong and to look good. Uh, she's definitely at that age now where her looks are starting to matter to her. And uh, I think that she really appreciates what I'm doing for myself right now. Strength training has given me an attitude. I mean, I feel strong. I feel I can compete. When I'm at my aerobics uh, exercise class, I can look over at that young girl and say, hey, I can do it too. I'm now 67 years old, and I really think I'm stronger than I was when I was in my 30s and 40s. I'm never going to stop strength training. Neither am I. Women First Healthcare is committed to redefining the healthcare experience for midlife women. Strong Women Stay Young is one solution to address some of the symptoms associated with estrogen loss. With the goal of creating order out of informational chaos, Women First Healthcare has assembled a distinguished health advisory board. These experts represent both traditional and complementary approaches, providing women with a broad range of choices for managing their midlife health. For more information on Women First Healthcare, please call 1-888-7-WOMEN-1. Oh, uh -huh.